builder type, um, uh, and actually these are scales, not types, and we're all a combination of all of them. They're cautious. They're cautious, but not fearful. They're calm. This is, you know, when you take Prozac or Paxil, you're driving up serotonin uh, systems in the brain, and this is what makes you so calm. They're social, they're very networking, uh, they know everybody, they're managerial. I would guess that there are far fewer builders in the room, actually, uh, than other types. They're fact-oriented, uh, literal, precise, detailed. These are the people that can, can they're good at um, trivia. They don't need to connect a lot of uh, their pieces. They can memorize um, phone lists. They can remember your face. They can remember names. Unconnected. They're not highly theoretical, uh, but they're very factually detailed. They're very persistent. Uh, they're very loyal, very orderly. I think um, Colin Powell is a perfect example of a builder. Uh, they're modest. They follow social norms. Uh, they're traditional, conventional. As a matter of fact, in, in America, um, I was able to study, I can do all kinds of studies on chemistry.com and match.com, and um, the red states uh, are full of builders. Um, I did one questionnaire in which I asked, uh, where would you like to live? And the builder type, uh, the guardian type, wants to live in the suburbs, wants to live in the countryside, whereas the uh, high dopamine type uh, wants to live in the cities where the energy is, where the action is. And you can see a state like Ohio, in, uh, where the big cities are all high dopamine type and quite liberal, uh, whereas the countryside is, um, is quite conservative. These are the high uh, serotonin types. These people um, seek respectability, they like rules and uh, plans, they respect authority. Uh, you guys don't, uh, if you are the high dopamine type. Uh, they do, we don't understand them, they don't understand us, I think for biological reasons. We found that um, uh, self-transcendence or religiosity is associated um, with, uh, with specific genes in the serotonin system. Uh, this is why these people who are much, some people are much more religious than others. And one of their fine characteristics is they're very good, we know the genetics of this, they're very good at figural and numeric creativity. They also can be very stubborn, close-minded, rigid, uh, moralistic, and controlling. I think a very good example of the finest of the guardian or the builder type is uh, Gordon Brown. He has many of the characteristics of, a, of the builder, and it's not at all surprising to me that he seems to be the world leader at the moment at uh, trying to get us out of this economic uh, crisis because he's got the biology for it. Uh, these people are uh, religious, and they're much more religious than other types. One of many studies that I did at Match.com and Chemistry.com. And here we have an example of a builder who's sort of gone off into the, uh, over the deep end. Um, Sarah Palin had a very traditional view of marriage, sex, and the environment, all I think associated with elevated activity in certain genes in the serotonin system. Religious, literal, a uh, literal view of the Bible, um, moralistic, uh, wanted to burn books, and less curious. There was one thing in the New York Times, they said um, they've uh, rarely met somebody less curious than George Bush, and they've met her in Sarah Palin. And indeed, I would guess that they have a good deal of the same um, biology. The director, uh, or the rational, uh, associated with elevated activity in the testosterone system, analytical, logical, direct, decisive, bold, very tough-minded, exacting. I would also suspect that there's a great many people in the room who are uh, high testosterone types. Inventive, focus, very narrow focus, very good at what we call rule-based systems. And that is everything from engineering to mathematics to musical, to understanding the structure of music. Beethoven was probably a, a director, uh, as many of these orchestra leaders are, conductors are. Um, also very good at mechanical uh, devices, etc. Emotionally contained. When I was at Davos, I was fascinated to see how many 
men in the room moved only their mouths uh, while they talked. And um, it's because it's that emotional containment is associated with elevated activity in the testosterone system. They're competitive, frank-oriented, independent, um, and do what um, scientists call heroic altruism. These are the people who will rush into a burning building uh, to save a stranger. And it is associated with activity in the testosterone system. Uh, of course, there's a downside to this. They have what scientists call mind blindness. They're not good at picking up on uh, the feelings and needs of others. Uh, they're less empathetic. They can be very aloof, workaholics, etc. A good example, I think, uh, women uh, can be uh, uh, show a lot of activity in the testosterone system as well as men. And I think Angela Merkel of Germany called the Iron Frau. It's a very good example of the um, uh, high testosterone um, director type. Uh, John McCain is a perfect example. He's got all of the, of the physiological characteristics of the high testosterone type. The, the heavy jaw is uh, built by testosterone. Uh, the heavy brow ridges, the broad forehead, these are all examples of, of high testosterone. I'm not surprised that during his um, acceptance speech when he was going to run for president, he used the word fight 43 times. Uh, he's blunt, he's direct, he's impatient, he's proud of being not Mr. Congeniality. Uh, these are all, he's a fighter pilot, uh, uh, they have the spatial relations, very good at rule based systems. These are all examples of the, of the high testosterone type. And he had one other characteristic that I totally was fascinated with. This research comes out of the 1930s. It's a, uh, most recently a lot of testosterone in the womb. Uh, it will not only uh, change the brain in certain ways, but it will also make your fourth finger longer than your second finger. So as you look, look at the, if you're gonna do it, look at your hand with your palm towards you. If your fourth finger is longer than your second finger, you had a good deal more testosterone in the womb. If they're the same length, you had more estrogen, and if your pointing finger is longer, then you had also more estrogen. And of course, in his uh, speech in which he conceded, he had a beautiful moment when he held his hands up like that. It was on the front page of the New York Times. And as you look at his right hand, you can see a very high testosterone man. I do think that around the world we had the perception that he was a more warlike individual than uh, Obama, and we intuitively picked up on his biology. Hillary Clinton, I think, is also uh, a director, and in fact, uh, I've got a lot of material that's embargoed, but I can probably explain why it is she sticks with Bill. Negotiator is the fourth of these four very broad <clears throat> brain systems. The negotiator, they see the big picture. They do what I call web thinking, holistic, synthetic thinking. They're very good at long-term planning. They're very imaginative, the most imaginative of the four types. Very good uh, linguistic skills. I would imagine that there's a lot of bloggers who are a combination of the high dopamine, which is the uh, uh, creativity, curiosity, and the negotiator, men as well as women, because to really write blogs well, you got to have some language skills. Uh, these people also have very fine people skills. They're very good at uh, intuition, what we call theory of mind, empathetic, nurturing, emotionally expressive, introspective, agreeable, and egalitarian. I did a lot of studies to see, to validate these uh, uh, four types. And one of them was I gave a, did a study of 178,000 men and women on the dating site, chemistry.com in America, to see what words these people use the most. And indeed, the explorer high dopamine type, uh, the most word they used most was adventure. Um, the builders used the word family. Directors used the word intelligence, very important to them and negotiators use the word passion. I do think as you watch people's language, as you watch the way they express themselves, you can know a great deal about the biology. We're all peacocks. We are constantly showing who we are, not only our background and our education, but our genetics.